Hello and welcome back and in today's video we're going to be doing a review and that review is going to be on this pick set. So this is as you can see there the multi shiny multi pick logo. So this is the multi pick elite G pro dimple set and this is the 13 piece set that multi pick do so it's a pretty comprehensive uh, dimple set. Now, as with any review that I do, I've used this product uh, for the last two weeks pretty much exclusively when picking dimple locks. And that's just to give me a better idea of hopefully what I'm talking about um, when, I, when I do the video and in turn give you a better idea of what to expect from the set. So it comes in this nice uh, leather roll case with this buckle on here. Um, I've got to admit, um, in, in my reviews, I'm always going to give positives and negatives, and they are just my opinion. Um, initially, I thought this looked really fantastic. The leather is a really nice quality, um, but I don't really like this buckle uh, at all. I'd much prefer just Velcro. Reason being, if you, if you reach, if I reach for my dimples and these are all packed away, it's just a bit of a faff to undo the buckle and and then to do it all up again so me personally i'd much rather see just a nice velcro catch on there i think that would look a lot nicer anyway is that just me being fussy you can decide so let's have a look uh, at what we get so inside as i say we've got this nice leather case and it is a really uh, really uh, good quality leather it feels it to me i'm no leather expert but it's very soft very thin um, and you know protects all of the tips stops the picks from slipping out and then we've got this strip of leather in there which holds all of the picks where you want them to be which is nice um, so let's start with uh, the tensioners that's always the less exciting part but I mean it, we always need tensioners um, it comes with three tensioners uh, to be honest, I would have definitely liked to, uh, for the price point, see a few more tensioner options in here. Um, as an experienced picker will know, whether you're picking, um, you know, dimple locks or, you know, just normal pin tumblers, um, having a selection of hooks, which we've got here, a great selection of hooks, um, and a selection of um, uh, tensioners in various thicknesses and in various different shapes really does help with a lot of keyways and the more variety you've got. Um, the more uh, keyways you'll have access to. I mean, we have got room in here to store some more, so you could always add some from other kits. But um, as I say, for the for the price point, I would have liked to see a few more tensioners in there, uh, because these three, I thought uh, initially. I mean, if we just look, because all the Multipix products are marked, which is really nice. We've got a 1.5, a 1.2, and another 1.2. And I initially thought, oh, they, there should have been like, I don't know, perhaps um, say a one mil in there as well. So you've got a variation. I thought these two were, were uh, um, the same shape, but they're actually not. If you look, uh, this end is the same. Uh, but just here, this, this, this section is straighter and longer. This section is tapered. So you've got they are two different tensioners and this will fit in locks that that one won't and vice versa so you have got some variation there but i would have liked to have seen a little bit more um, and that tensioner there is exactly the same as that one profile wise uh, shape wise it's just that this one's 1 1.2 and that one's a 1 1.5 so you have got the options there and uh, to be honest my dimple lock collection i kind of picked through this while I was testing this product out, and I think there was only one lock that I struggled uh, to tension, uh, which was, it was this rotor lock. And the reason being is that the core in there, as you can see, is quite recessed. And I found that all of these tensioners, although they fit in there and you can tension the lock, um, when you actually, I'll just grab a pick out, when you go in there to actually pick the lock, you get to the point uh, where the the sort of the, the tip of the handle was interfering um, with the tensioner, um, so I, I I couldn't pick this lock just with this setup. But as with any pick set, um, I think most of us do it. You you use it as a base to build from. Although this one is pretty extensive and will get you into the vast majority of dimple locks. Um, it's nice to have uh, like a few different tensioners and you've also got actually quickly mention it um it comes with i think it's 10 isn't it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so it comes with 10 different picks 
but you've got these two blank spaces so again you could always put more tools in there uh, as well it's nice to have that as an expansion so yeah that's the tensioners um, not much to talk about there um, but like I say they worked with most of the most of the locks that I played with I did find them really comfortable um, but yeah just perhaps a couple more in there would be nice anyway let's move on to the picks themselves now I'll go through all the flag profiles in a minute but first of all I just wanted to have a look at the handle and talk about that um, I've been picking for about four years at this point um, and I've been sort of toying with dimple locks um, during that time, and I saw a lot of the uh, a lot of pickers favoured these uh, picks, and I can really see why. Um, they are, uh, they've got to say, they are uh, so well made, um, really well machined. They're made of an aluminium, um, and it looks like you've got channels uh, that have been machined into the handle, and then. Um, I think they're O-rings, they're like rubber O-rings that are set into all of those channels. Um, you've got a nice ergonomic kind of grip shape there. It dips down just there as well. So wherever you hold it, it gives you a really good grip. And, you know, you can, you can really sort of, with dimple locks as you're picking, you need that slight rotation. And I find that these O-rings did grip my fingers really, really well. Um, yeah, so that's really nice. Um, they... They are a little bit sort of smaller than I um, thought they'd be. I think the reason for that is, is number one, the dimple picks that I'd been using previously were slightly bigger. Um, so these felt smaller in comparison and that's perfectly normal. Um, but the other thing is uh, I've got absolutely massive hands. <laughs> so when I'd seen these being used by other pickers, uh, because perhaps they had sort of normal sized hands or <laughs> slightly smaller, um, that the picks appeared bigger. So when I got them in my sticky mitts, um, they appeared a little bit small um, and some people I've heard uh, some folks say that they find them a little bit too small and I'm inclined to agree I would have liked to see the diameter just a little bit bigger but again that's personal preference um, as I say I've used these for the past two or three weeks uh, since getting them and used them exclusively when I've picked uh, my dimple lock collection and I found them really comfortable, although, I, like I say, I found them slightly small initially. And although I'd like to see a little bit more um, uh, sort of wider diameter on the pick shaft, I found them really, really comfortable to pick with. Um, and we've got on every pick, you've got this, I don't know if it's etched into it, but you've got the multi-pick logo. And then we've got some information there. So we've got Elite G Pro 10. Um, and the 10 refers to the flag. So it comes with 10 picks. And that's the, the, all the profiles are slightly different, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Um, so you've got that's you know profile one, profile two, profile three, going up to profile ten. And this bit of information there, I think, is actually the serial number for this individual pick and the year of manufacture. So it's 2023. So these were made this year, and that just helps multi-pick. You know, if they ever have any issues, that they can trace it back and you know you know eliminate us sort of particular batch so it's kind of makes sense from an engineering point of view if you have any problems but as far as I know uh, multi-pick don't have any problems with these they are excellent uh, excellent picks so let's just have a look at what you get in the set pick wise so you get four left facing flags and four right facing right facing flags um, and I'll show you uh, the difference between those in just a minute. Uh, there, there is there isn't a flat flag now. I've always used as a the, my main flag a flat flag. I'm not sure if Multipick do it. They may well do one, uh, and you can buy another handle and you can replace these tips uh, if you chose to do that. But I did I didn't really find that I needed it particularly. Um, I just either used a left or a right one depending on the keyways I, I was picking. So I'll just say quickly as well, it also comes, there's a little um, Allen key in there. Of course, multi-pick have thought of everything. And these tips, you've got a little grub screw, a little grub screw just there. And these pick tips are tight in here, uh, but the pick tip itself can slide out. So if you wanted, uh, I think they do sell pick tips uh, separately. I'm not sure about that. Um, I assume they do. Um, but yeah, you could just buy another one. And you've got a little flat spot there. Just see it uh, on the on the pick. These are really well machined, I've got to say. And that fits in there like that, so that when you tighten up that screw, um, it locks it into place. 
and that flag is orientated, oriented, orientated um, with the grub screw. So the grub screw is there and the flag points that way. And that way, when you're picking, it does just give you a little bit of registration. Now on that subject, um, I think that's true when you're picking. So in that case, if you were picking pins down, then your flag would be sort of orientated that way. So if you're picking pins down with this, these sets, then there isn't any orientation there. Apart from the logo, the logo faces, you know, the opposite way to the grub screw, the logo faces up. That can give you an idea of where your flag is, because when you're picking, uh, let's just grab a lock. You know, when you're picking, the flag is actually in the lock, so you, you, it's difficult sometimes, particularly if your pick tip gets stuck, to know where it is. So I think I would have liked to have seen a mark on that side, which, I mean, we've got the grub screw on that side, but, you know, perhaps just a little dot or something etched in there, or a line, you know, and that would just give you a better clue as to where your flag is. And that's not a major criticism, it's not something that I've struggled with particularly, um, but it's just an observation that I would have liked to have seen. I don't think any other dimple flags come with a mark like that. I think my my old set, uh, which were cheap ones, I think I scratched a little mark onto the back of the pick handle there. Uh, so as you're picking, you can generally see the back of the pick, and that helped me to sort of orientate where the flag was. And I, I, I could do that to these ones. We'll see. Maybe if I feel it necessary, I'll do it. But it just would have been nice as an extra thought to sort of have on there. Okay, so that is the handles. Let's just have a look at those different pick tips and try and do this without dropping everything. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll just take out the tensioners so they don't fall down. So looking at the left facing flags, um, we've got two curved flags. Now I've never really used curved flags, um, but I found these really useful and I'll show you why in a minute. So we've got the two curved ones and they're different angles. That one's a tighter curve and that one's a wider curve. Um, and then we've got this one here, which is more of a flat, um, a flat flag. And that one again, uh, more flat. And the difference between those two, this one's got a wider tip and that one's got a narrower tip. Uh, and similar to when you're picking with pin tumblers, you'd use a short hook or a long hook. And the same is true of a flag. Sometimes you, you know, a wider flag is better and sometimes a thinner one is better. So it's really great to have that variation. And you've got similar on the right facing flags. I'm not really sure why you've not got five of one and five of another. I'm sure that uh, there's a reason for that. It's just not something that I've been able to figure out in the last three weeks. I think that when you look at Dimple, uh, let's grab a different one. When you look at Dimple Lock keyways, um, you know, sometimes it's more practical to use a right facing flag or a curved one. And sometimes, it, you know, it's easier to use a left facing flag. Uh, but whether or not the ratio of every single Dimple Lock ends up at 60 40, I don't know. I would have said it's more kind of 50 50, but that's just uh, my guess. Now, I'll show you that actually. I'll just carry on looking at these. I just remembered I was going to show you the curved flag and why I found that useful. So these ones, um, these three here look very similar from this, uh, from up above. So they're right facing flags, but the profiles are slightly different. So this one uh, is quite deep, but narrow. This one's quite uh, deep and more kind of square. And this one is a little bit more, um, is he pointy than that one? It's just a slightly shorter flag. And these minute differences, um, don't matter a whole a whole lot until you come to a lock um, in which it will make a difference. So you know, in this, as I say, in the same way, you've got short hooks and medium hooks and deep hooks, and you've also got everything in between. Those tiny differences can make a real big difference in getting an open or not. Then we move on to a couple of curved flags. So once again, we have got uh, a deeper curve. You can just see that one there, a slightly less deep curve. These are quite difficult to get in focus. Uh, sorry, you've got that one's a deeper curve. I was looking at the wrong one. That one's a deeper curve and that one's a shallower curve, but has a longer reach. And finally, we get onto this one, which is a very small curve. Excuse me, but it's quite um, a short, a short flag, you know, um, 
doesn't reach as deep and the flag is actually a lot smaller and that one's really good for getting in tighter keyways. So let me just grab one of these curved flags and I'll show you why I found this one particularly useful. So this is an, an Iseo, um, I think it's a, is it a six pin? Yeah, it's a six pin uh, R6. Now I've had, I had a few of these and they've been residing in the naughty bucket uh, for a long time. I think the innards of these locks aren't very tricky. I think you have a few spool pins and that's about it. But the thing I struggled with was actually getting into the keyway because it's the warden's quite aggressive when you compare it to something like this multi-lock, which is you know quite open. And what I've found, let's try and get this all in camera, on focus, in focus and on camera. If I can find the right tension up. So yeah, you pop the tensioner there in that side um, and then to get the pins, this is going to be difficult to get on camera. <laughs> um, what I found was that if you rest the pick just there, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom you in and see if I can capture it that way. Yeah, that's better. So you're able to kind of rest the pick um, just on that side and that by rotating the pick, you can see there, I'm just pushing that pin down and I'm pushing it all the way to the bottom, which is actually quite deep. So on these Iseo R6s in particular, I had some that the bit in, you know, there were quite, there were lots of highs and lows. And I really struggled with like just a standard flat or flatter flag like that one there. Um, Although it would reach around and get the pin, it was struggling to get all the way down, particularly when you're deeper in the keyway. So that kind of more aggressively curved pick tip uh, like that one was really nice for getting all the way in there. Okay, zoom you out again and tidy this lot back up. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, oh, I've zoomed out too far, haven't I? Um, yeah, so that's running for all the pick tips. Um, I think the other thing I found is the previous Dimple set that I had, uh, each of the handles was a different color. And what that means is when you're having, you know, a kind of uh, a furiously in-depth picking section, a session, sorry, you know, you've got your lock in the vise and you're struggling to pick it open and you're grabbing this pick and trying that one and grabbing another one. And, you know, you're trying to find that perfect pick profile um that will open the lock uh, and you're building up a pile of kind of picks and tensioners <laughs> on your desk i think a lot of us do that um, i found i wasn't able to do this with this set because there's no clear way uh, at a glance to differentiate each pick tip from the other um, so, you know, so for example, if this one was orange and that one was red, I'd know that the orange one is the number one flag and the red one was the number two and I could reach for it quicker. Um, so what I found was the best uh, way around that was to keep all of the picks in the case. And that way, you know, if I reach for, you know, flag number five, it's easy to spot that. And once I, you know, remember what that tip is, I can use that one. And if I think, no, this isn't working and I need like a, a curved flag, I know that the number eight and the number nine are both curved and I can reach one of those, but I've just got to remember to put the original pick back in the case. <laughs> um, so that's a solution. I don't know if there's anything that you could do about that. I mean, these handles are beautiful and I'm not sure they need to be anodized in different colors. I don't know if that would uh, spoil the aesthetic, uh, but perhaps you could uh, do a, a different colored O-ring or something for each different flag. I don't know. My solution to, to that, which wasn't a big problem, uh, was just to, as I say, keep it all in the case. Um, and that kept me from knowing exactly which uh, pick I was using um, and kept them all in order. And I suppose it's, it's not a bad thing because it means that we can uh, keep everything tidy. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. I think we've covered the case. We've covered the tensioners. Oh, these are difficult to pick up. Just bear with me. Difficult to get your fingernails under when you've just trimmed them. Uh, so we've gone through the tensioners, we've gone through uh, the picks themselves, we've looked at the case and we've looked at all of the different flag tips. Now, uh, so my conclusions on this set is that it is really nice. I've got to say, I, I really like it. I know that during this review, I've picked out a few faults. 
but nothing's perfect um, and all of us like to kind of start off with a really nice set and you know you can build it up and customize it um, as you see fit and as I say we've got some space in the case uh, to fit anything like that I know that um, Multipick do do a number 11 tip I'm not actually sure what that profile is but I know it's quite popular and I don't know if that's just because it's missing from this case uh, missing from this selection or you know it's just um, perhaps a later edition that Multipick have made but maybe I'll get that one in the future um, this set is a premium set. I'm going to leave a link um, to the Multipick website below and I'm also going to leave a discount code for 10% uh, which you can use on any Multipick products that Multipick were kind enough to give to me. That will be in the description as well so make sure you use that if you want to buy this set or, or buy any other set. Um, so my conclusion on this set, I really really like it overall. Um, I think that it is, it is, as a lot of Multipick products are, it's a premium set. Um, I, it's difficult to know if I'd recommend this to a beginner, um, because a lot of beginners in this hobby, you know, they buy, you know, they buy a kit, they pick a couple of locks and they sort of, you know, spend six months or a year in the hobby and disappear. I think this is, uh, for the serious, uh, picker, someone who has been picking for a little while and wants to make an investment, uh, in their future. So, uh, I think with any sort of tools, you definitely get what you pay for. Um, and you know if you're just kind of mucking around with lock picking then perhaps this isn't the set for you but if you've been picking for a little while um, I think a set like this is going to last you probably forever I've never sometimes on I'm, I'm quite um, active on the uh, lock sport forums reddit discord facebook etc I see a lot of posts from a lot of different pickers um, and I see that you know people break picks uh, occasionally it does happen some manufacturers more than others um, but I've never seen any kind of complaints about the multi-pick G Pro Elite uh, dimple uh, pick set. I've never noticed anyone breaking them, uh, bending them or complaining about them. These are really strong tips. I've certainly not noticed any problems and I really, really have enjoyed uh, using the set. But as I say, you know, it's it comes at a price and if you're looking to get into dimple lock picking and you know you've been in the hobby for a while you're going to be in it for a while um, these are an excellent uh, set and they will last you for years as I say they do do the number 11 I don't know if there's other pick tips that they do but this set is pretty comprehensive I've not found it you know want him um, on any of the locks that I've picked anyway that's my conclusion on this set it's a really nice set uh, and set in this lovely leather case um, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for Multipick for sending me this one. Don't forget to use that discount code if you're buying any Multipick products, uh, this one in particular, um, but also for any products. I'm going to leave a link up there to subscribe. That's always appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching today. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. What's your uh, experience of dimple picks, different manufacturers, and picking on uh, dimple locks, all that sort of thing. Anyway, um, enough waffling. See you on the next one.